Hey guys, it's Trish Critter Liam here, and today we're back with Devil Man Baby Cry, episode 4. So far, this series is going really well. I, uh, yeah, I'd say episode 1 was definitely the strongest, but I really enjoyed episode 3. I thought episode 3 was really well done. Like I said, it boosted the relationship, um, and it left it on a little cliffhanger, so... I wonder how it's going to end, because I think it's still episode 3 or 4. It's a bit early for them to start arguing, but I guess it's not. So I don't know if this is going to, they're going to make up after this for a bit, and then obviously it happens again later, but... Nah, I love how um, the, 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 the direction of the the best mate guy. And yeah, hopefully we get to see a bit more of the, of the deep, some of the demons and get to know more about that girl with the white hair, what her main plan, what her actual plan is. But yeah, let's get started. I wonder how they're going to resolve this. i got to say, after episode three, the music of this show really grown on me. i got to say, this anime did come out of nowhere, didn't it? I didn't even know what it, I didn't even know it existed until like a few days ago. And so far, it's been really good. I do want to read the comics though, just because like someone recommended, someone said in the comments I should read, um, what, read them. You still have that kid for life now. Ah, uh, that's cute. What the fuck? Is he a hamster? Fucking hell. What do you guys actually prefer, the double or the sub to this? I don't know I'm watching this in sub, but which one do you prefer? I normally prefer double overall, just in my personal preference. Don't, don't burn me out of state for that. Oh, such a romance. Oh, those acting skills. Oh, he actually, mate, he agreed. I guess he didn't need to keep his friend happy. Yeah, I need to resolve it for now. Oh shit. I wonder if they ever feel bad leaving behind all the time. Why would you ever have a house on the river like that? It just seems like you're just asking for it to go to war. No boobs. I can always still tune. Man needs to download the soundtrack for this show. It's really good. I know it's got like that menacing. Or like how song they kind of have it happy and they change the beat of it to a more sadistic. Yes. What what the fuck is in those bags? I love this guy, he keeps trying. He's just trying to be nice. Yeah, smooth. I love this guy.俺もここの住人だけどこの花見るたび貰えてんだ勇気いつも遠慮がちで人の後ろ陰にばっか隠れて思い通りうまく話したりはできないけどそれでも言いたいんだしたくない後悔これまで何遍も芋引いてばっか
Hey, this guy's smooth. Told you, best character when he uh, showed up on the uh, dock, mate. Do the beatboxing. I do love the main guy's design. So big flashlight. Strap. I'm scared. I'm scared. How the fuck is he doing that? You're not doing your work now, mate. New one. That looks really painful. Oh, the tunes, mate. Ooh. Oh, so they still have some like human in them, just very tiny. None of our happy is in the back. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. So I thought it just like they totally took over. Oh, to kill himself with the tail, mate. What a hero! Oh, did the yeah? He took care of the Marty ones. He needs to be done, mate. You <laughs> know the other guy who just already killed them. Wait, my mate's hard decisions out of that. He might be a dick. No. If it's not them anymore, how come she's talking, telling her to kill him? Wouldn't they be like, don't kill me, son? How dare you, normal enemy would bring everyone back to life, Jake. It would though, wouldn't it? Like, oh, let's kill off all their characters just to bring them back. I'm not gonna let it, it just kill them, wouldn't it? So it really would take away from the emotional value. Oh. These are my favourite parties. Oh, this one's going happy to a minute. Hey, no, because I like him. Oh, shit. Nah, don't kill him. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh of course it's going to end there. I don't die, but I don't really see how they're going to get saved unless they... Oh, I bet beatboxer guy's going to jump in front and die, isn't he? And then she gets away. Oh. That's brutal if, he, oh, if that happens. If they kill B-Box guy off like that, I'd be really sad. Like, generally. Like, I actually like him. I think he's a swaggy guy. But that's what I see happening next episode. He's just going to jump in front. And then he dies. And then she gets away, hopefully. I think, maybe. Or she just dies. Or they both get away, which I very doubt. From the way that anime has been going so far. But I like that episode. I like it a bit around his family at the start. And then obviously he did the whole emotional thing with his family dying. And it just shows again that his mate... At the side, just a pure savage. Like, you just like, when you got that kid screaming, like, don't kill me, I want to see my mummy. He didn't need to go because it was making him doubt himself, which is interesting. Um, yeah, I thought it was a brutal way to go on the bus, though. Fucking hell. The gore. Go. One thing I, I am liking about shows, just like, mate, just definitely just getting on with it. I can see why it would have inspired someone like Berserk or like Parasite back in the day. Because they're my favourite type of anime where it's just like, fucking, just, it's just growing up at the end of the day. Like one thing I like, just I use a, a recent example of watching Seven Deadly Sins and the pig, it looked it, it, the fucking pig. I hated it and it died, but then they couldn't let it die, could they? They had to bring it back, and it's just like why just let it die? It just takes away any emotional value when you do that, and it's just annoying when shows do that. So it's nice when you get more adult anime and you just get on with it. And I like the way this it uses like even with sex and nudity, it uses it in just like a manner where like 
yeah, you could say it's unnecessary, but at least it's not like where a guy's like blushing for 50 minutes every time he sees boobs or something like that. You just get on with it. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know, it gives it that more, just more of a feel, just better feel to it, doesn't it? Like, it's not bought like this. And it just does it. It's not like it just hides it or has smoke clouds everywhere. So it's just like, yeah, I can really appreciate it when the show does that. But yeah, no, I do I do like the style of it and the music is growing on me more and more. Like episode three of music grew on me completely. It's one I want to buy the soundtrack now because it's actually really good. So yeah. Um yeah, I'm just gonna curious some bet next episode is gonna be that party, but hopefully they don't kill Beatbox guy because I like him. Mate, it's gonna be so sad to kill him off. Yeah, hopefully you join me to find out. And uh, tell me your thoughts on how you find this series so far. Room four and only got six to go. You feel I feel like the pacing's actually really good for this. I still don't know I wish we got to know a bit more about the villains, because uh because it being ten episodes, I wanna know what like the overarching enemy and where it's gonna go. And I wonder if it's gonna get season two or not. But yeah, thanks for watching.